Welcome to our online Christmas Eve service. We wait with eager anticipation for the birth of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Today we light all five candles. The first candle is called hope, and it is a reminder that God's promises are true. The second candle is called peace, God's gentle, loving peace for our lives. The third candle is called joy because of God's absolute presence in our lives. The fourth candle is called love because of God's great love for us. The fifth candle is the Christ candle. We light the Christ candle in celebration of God's most precious gift to us, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Come, all is ready. Let the light of these candles bring brightness to your spirits. During the 8th and 7th centuries before Christ, the Old Testament prophet Isaiah prophesied to the southern kingdom of Judah and Jerusalem and to the kings in particular. Several of Isaiah's prophecies foretold of the Messiah, the coming of of the Christ child. Our first reading comes from Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. From Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. John, the beloved disciple, began his gospel with these words, declaring that Jesus, the Son of God, has been with the Father from the beginning. From John 1, verses 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. It is Christmas Eve. Our waiting for the birth of Jesus is almost over. Yet, as Chris just read in the Old Testament passages from Isaiah, the birth of our Messiah was foretold long before Mary and Joseph's journey to Bethlehem. Did you know that there were more than 200 Old Testament prophecies that Jesus fulfilled? These that we just read from Isaiah were two, just two of the prophecies that foretold of his birth. From the New Testament, the Apostle John tells us that Jesus, the Word of God, was with God from the beginning. That Jesus is the light of the world and that he cannot be overcome by darkness. 2,000 years after Jesus began his ministry, Nearly one-third of the world's population consider themselves Christians. Right now, on this Christmas Eve, we join with 2.5 billion Christians. Yes, that's right. We join with 2.5 billion Christians around the world, awaiting and anticipating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, after almost two years of living through the pandemic that has impacted almost every aspect of our lives, including our church life, we are still very much in community together. We are a community, a family of followers of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the light of the world, therefore, we are the light of the world, and we are charged with shining the light of Christ on all whom we can. Jesus is the hope of our generation and every generation to follow. 
May we also share the hope of Christ with all whom we can. It is very important for us each year to remember and recount the Christmas story. God chose Mary, a humble teenager from Nazareth, to be the one who would bear the child, the one who would nurture and raise our Messiah. And God chose Joseph, a righteous man, to be the earthly father of God's Son, to provide for and to protect Mary and the Christ child. Mary would have an older cousin named Elizabeth going through a miraculous pregnancy of her own. as she brought John the Baptist into the world, and that Elizabeth would rejoice upon seeing Mary and celebrate the blessing that God had bestowed on Mary. Elizabeth set Mary at ease, relieved her fear, which enabled Mary to rejoice and praise God with her song that we know as the Magnificat. In a few moments, we will hear this Christmas story from the Gospel of Luke. In this familiar story of the birth of Jesus, we are reminded of Mary and Joseph's journey to Bethlehem and the shepherd's trip to the stable to see the Christ child. I invite you to listen closely to the reactions of Mary and the shepherds to the gift that God has given to the world, given to us. Mary held dear and reflected on the shepherds' words, and the shepherds rejoiced over the good news of the birth of the Messiah, the good news of light and hope for all the world. I ask you to meditate on their re reactions and consider your response as we celebrate God's gift of Jesus Christ. Please join me in an attitude of prayer. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, we celebrate with you on this Christmas Eve. We celebrate our church family that shines your light on the world. Loving and gracious God, thank you for the grace and hope that you have given to us with the greatest gift we could ever receive. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Please join me now in our hymn of adoration, O Come, All Ye Faithful.
Hear now the Christmas story from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the end. Join us now in the Advent hymn, O Little Town of Bethlehem. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord, this will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. I invite you now to join us in singing my joy to the world.
the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. Now please join us in our closing hymn of peace, Silent Night, Holy Night. Thank you for worshiping with us on this Christmas Eve. May the peace of Christ be with you. Merry Christmas to all. <laughs>